Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Oh, I'm down at the local gym looking at all the redback spiders. There is a male and female there. This is just beautiful to look at. Calm down a bit more. There's a much larger nest there. There's actually a female in there. Okay, it's a very typical sort of cone shape web that they do. There's also spider skins there. Man, there is everything there. Look how much that spider has eaten. Just miraculous. And if I come down even further and drag past some web um, down there, yes. I think that's a stack of uh, spiderlings. Quite amazing. I just got to stick with me. I'll see if I can razzle up what's going on here. I'm not sure if these are redbacks or something else. There are other spiders in this zone. Man, uh, whatever it is, there's a stack. Oh yes, here they come. They're coming alive now. There's a stack of spiders there. Woo! Maybe the spider experts can tell me uh, what breed of spider that is. All I know is there's a lot there. There's another redback there, uh, tending to a redback's spider egg there. Quite amazing. This is like middle of the day I'm shooting this. You know what, I reckon that egg sac's actually just a fresh one and uh, mum's just sort of um, making sure it's in the right spot. I'm just trying to look up inside her um, spider nest there. Quite amazing to see them on the steps here. But she got a couple of eggs in there, look at her. What a stunner. And if I traverse down away from that redback spider nest there, we just see all the spiderific things, uh, beetles hanging in the web. There's a stack of web here, lots of those black beetles. And down here, there's a redback spider feeding on a, guess what, black beetle. It's a smaller female and it's doing what they do best and that's uh, sucking everything out of those black beetles that they can. It's one of their favourite fares. And if I look down from that zone there, and uh, tragically there is a black beetle there caught up in some spider web. Well, we know how that's going to end, and it ain't going to be pretty. So that was that stair area there. If I just flick the camera around like this, well, it's all happening there as well. It's like a mirror image of the other side. There's some um, food hanging in there, some sort of waspy sort of ad thing, and there's another classic example of the red back nest as they make it against the structures that we like to build as human beings. So I can leave that set of stairs there and I can traverse across and it sort of repeats again. Look at this here, oh crikey Charlie's. What have we got here? There's a, there's a giant moth there. My crikey's, that thing there would present a massive meal to a redback. Is it still alive? Is there going to be a redback jump out from underneath? Oh, it's still alive but it's missing a wing. It might have got caught up. There's a really bad storm we had last night and might have been confused in that storm. Well, what should we do here? Should we let the redbacks feed on that? Or should we get the moth free? Talk is cheap. I should show you the storm from last night because, uh, well, I get excited about storms. I don't know why, because they do tons of damage. Look at another storm. Uh, there is hail falling in this one. There's a couple of big hanging bits of hail falling. Oh man. I don't, I, I, I don't understand why we're getting all this hail. Oh no, to be more damaged roofs and some people have only just got new roofs on their houses. Some people got a lot of hail, we got a little bit of hail, but the people who had the smashed up roofs from the storm from last December were getting a lot of water into their house because by now all the tarps are failing and well it's just a big big mess. Uh, because we're a bit paranoid about storms and hail now we all send pictures of the radar and take guesses of how heavily we're going to be hit. And I put some cameras out last night and I actually captured a wonderful lightning strike. Let's take a look at that as a bit of a teaser in this video, hey? And please don't steal this video. Lots of people like to steal parts of my videos. Stop stealing my videos, please. Sorry for sounding a bit snappy about, you know, stealing my content. My channel is in a stack of trouble, yet people who steal snippets of my videos and other people's videos and then make, you know, videos out of that are booming on this site. So it's really unfair that original producers get smacked down for the fact that other producers who think they're smart can make rubbish content out of stolen content. I'm just over it. Anyway, let's go back to the spiders before I really get into a rant. Just to paint a picture, this is the side where the redbacks live and the cicadas are. Now there's egg sacs there now. 
Uh, this is much more developed when, when I looked at this last. And if I come up here, just going up a couple of steps, yes, there's cicada bodies up there, black beetles, it's all uh, red back, horrific. It is certainly a very, very intense redback spider activity. They love it here, and what I might do, because well, I'm denying the redbacks a meal, I will get this poor uh, moth. It's a very, very big moth as well. I'm sure it's still alive, yeah. Okay, come on, little fella. Come with me and we'll, uh, we'll put Mr. or Mrs. Moth somewhere well away from the redbacks territory. I'll be honest here, I don't know that much about moths. All I do know is this moth is injured. Um, man, it would have been a beautiful specimen if it was in one piece here, but we're, we're saving it from being redback spider meal. And what I will do is I'll put it down on the, uh, there's a bottle brush here. And I'll just get this moth here somewhere and hopefully something wondrous will happen with it from this point on. Let's hope so, hey? Let's leave it there and I'm hoping the birds won't find it because I don't think it's a full strength. Okay, that giant moth had settled down on the bottle of brush there. I just hope I've done the right thing. Or well, mind you, I have denied the redback spider's a wondrous meal. So there you go, that was the gym spider uh, redback area update. It's funny, the Google uh, closed captions thinks I'm saying a person's name, Jim. It hasn't quite worked out I'm talking about a physical fitness center, which is also called a gym. See, English is so confusing, isn't it? And uh, let's just have one more look at that wondrous spider up there in its wondrous lair with its wondrous exacts. And I will we'll come to this at the very end. This is what I looked at at the very start. And it's interesting because we've got a male and female. The male is a spider. I'll just, I'll just point it out here. That's the male there. Okay, uh, they don't live for very long and they end up being eaten by the female. It's just dropped down and the female is there uh, feeding on something. You can also see the female's skin that they shed as they grow. I'll just see if I can tease this female to move uh, very gently. She may be the biggest one of the group of spiders here. I really feel it around the gym here. We've got generation upon generation, but uh, wow, that web there is strong. Here she comes. She is going to come out and, um, yes, yeah, say hello in a very red back way. Now I see her with her legs stretched out. Yes, she would definitely be one of the larger of the female red back spiders of the many red back spiders down at the local gym. So sure, I did focus on the adult red back spiders that I could easily see in this video. You may have seen the spiderlings and immature red backs getting about as well. Maybe I can show some of those. They are very small, but there's actually a lot of them here and they sort of get around quite fast. There's about six breeding females amongst a couple of steps here. That would generate umpteen thousands of baby redback spiderlings. Most of those spiderlings will die out, but the few who go on to survive will probably come back and live here. This seems to be their perfect home. And what I like to say about the redback spiders here is, well, these redback spiders must be some of the fittest redback spiders on the planet. You know why? Because they're always hanging out down at the gym. I know, I know, it's an oldie, but it's also a goodie. Well, the good news here is the suburb isn't all redbacks. Uh, there's also some other very, very cool things going on as well. And, well, that's just one of them. Very, very nice to look at. Can you count how many chicks are there? There seems to be a lot.